Hello and welcome to the Viceman channel. This is where I talk about Proxmark and RFID hacking in general. Who am I? I'm Iceman. No, laughing out. Uh, this one, how oh, that one was for the <laughs> for my brothers at the Wireless Village and Defcon. The Rick Twins. Peace out, brothers. It's been a while since I did my last video. So this time I tried to compensate that with both using screen capturing and a video cam. Yay, look. Uh, well, let's see, it's new software and let's see how it pans out. What I'm going to talk about today, what I'm going to talk about today is, you can't make a guess, make a guess in comments below. I'm going to talk about, yay, can you focus? Yes. Very cheap. Uh, or uh, the original animal tag. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk about so much about the chip, but I'm going to talk about how to use a Proxmark with a genuine reader. So my setup today is I'll be running on Windows 10, on Windows Subsystem Linux 2, and a preview of the terminal app where you can have different uh, tabs like this, and Ubuntu in behind. And I'll be using uh, some different antennas with my Proxmark RDV401, latest source from GitHub repo. Yeah, so you all know how to do if you want to do the same thing as I'm doing with the latest fixes. So today, um, the very ship. Um, this is actually a shout out for Amalo about dangerous things. He was kind enough to send me a genuine very chip reader and not only a chip, uh, reader, it's also uh, come came with a genuine. Oh, let's see if it glares out. Uh, genuine glass chip. You can see the chip inside of there. The glare is too much. I don't know if it's focus. Maybe it does. Uh, yeah, so there's a small glass clip. This is encased in the epoxy. So, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. I will put this one on my little RV4, hooking up, mm -mm -mm. and we will be CFDX, um, LF commands, yes, um, LF, FDX is where the element tags are, are we using the reader, or read, to read it out, before, I got this, I managed to you know, solve and fix, the, check some algos again for it since the latest updates to the CRC16 uh, code. So that was really good and, and testing things. I also found a bug in the simulation code. So it's very easy to read the tag out and when you get the numbers, uh, it's dead easy to, to copy. This is simple technology. Uh, let me start up this reader. Uh, can't see if I can, uh, like that, maybe, like this, here, like that, so, there you go. I don't know if you can see it there, maybe, no. It takes a while, it tries to connect over Bluetooth now, searching for slave, it says. And when it's done, I can use this little reader, let's see. It says connecting to slave stick. It takes a while, I don't know why it takes a while. It's fun technology though, that's... Uh, so now it says, press F1 to scan. All right, so you take your little chippy here, you press F1, and it says beep, and you know, it found a tag. So, yeah, I press F1, you hear the beep, and it succeeds. So now this one is running. Already used this one to read it, so, just to make fun of it, how about I do sim 2.8.4.1.4.6. It simulates, and if I now take this one, you see it finds it. And I say I have a proximal can do it. Yeah, that was a bug before, now it works. Kind of decent space. Can you see the distance between them? Uh, like this. Uh, I will do like that. I will press F1. Scanning. And I will do here. Let's see. I have 
yeah. This is some good this space. Yeah. Some good centimeters there. That's cool. Now I will interrupt this one. How would it look like if we used a large elephant? You can see this one is the new elephant with this extra things down here where you can determine uh, Q factor and uh, center frequency of 144 knob. And you can also see little fancy fancy layers of, uh, of the antenna down there. Yeah, very good one though. Mm, let me hook it up. I will hook it up on a different one. There it is. And I will head over to the second one here. I have to wait until this COM port comes alive. I can't use the PM3 uh, shell scripts for this one when I hook up two devices next to each other. But I can use, oops. And I need to hook on that. It's free there. Boom. I have now two different prox mobs. We can easily measure this by running LF tune or whatever, but it doesn't matter right now. We would be able to FTX simulate. No, two, two, one, one. Which one was it we were using? We were using eight, four, one, four, six, eight, four, one, four, six. Here you go. It turns on. And this one turns off, of course. I'm going to turn this one off, so no. This one is the power on. It goes down on power kind of fast. Dual antenna. Here we go. Uh, let's start the simulation again. You can see the red light is on. Press F1. Oop. I don't know. It's, I don't have to show this nicely in a nice way. I'm like distance I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna press the button now. Okay. Maybe this is better. Let's try scanning again. Let's see. I'm here. Yeah. It's like this. <laughs> you don't see it but it's way over twelve centimeters. Uh kind of More than, more than this. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. So that works well with simulation. And this, cool. I'm gonna go back to that one. We go over here. And we take an LF card. Hook it on. LF T55 detect. Nothing there. We can just run the clone command. Success writing it. And let's press, take this one and scan. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it beeping for you. Yeah. So card cloning works well nowadays. Simulation for different kinds of antennas works well. And what another problem we had before was using the proxmark, one proxmark as a reader and the other one as a simulator. I will use the large antenna as a simulation and I will use the other proxmark as a LF reader. So now the large one is simulating, you can see it here, the red little lights on. I will enter the commands for LF search there. And I will see how much this messes up here. And it finds it. 1022. Yep. It's good. So Proxmox simulation works. And 
using the genuine reader works cloning to tag works reading with through glass ship works excellent now what to do mm, let's try something else uh, let's swap if you want to see this is the latest uh, uh, this is a yeah it's a graphite antenna it's designed um, by Tom Harkness my man over in Australia together with prox grind for dangerous things uh, so oh, let's see can you see this yeah I'm gonna do like this this is how you do this this so, so it's prox grind and dangerous things all those biohackers I don't know who has a little chip implanted inside of you this is the little thing to do let's hook this one up instead I'm going to show you the reconnect function now really simply uh, 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 HV connect and we're going to use which one? the TTS3 oops P yep so now we are on uh, the Let's see, you can use this LF tune, you can see if I measure it like this, it gives 26 volts. Uh, you have to keep them parallel like this in perpendicular thingy. See it goes down to 25 volts. You don't do like that. Yeah, let's see. Press a button. And we can do a LF FT. Read, everything's read. Mm -hmm. Let's see, magic there. There you go. There's this little metal ring there, which is, you know, disturbs everything, of course. So that sucks. Hook it up. And it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it does. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, imagine that one reading through the skin. Hmm. I have a tag here, so I could actually program that one for this occasion. Not, not, it's hard to do with one hand, so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, so thank you anyway. Uh, thanks to Amal for borrowing me this, uh, or for me to sort stuff out for FDX commands. And, you know, I hope you learned something from it. Enjoy! <laughs>